Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the finals! Game 1 of the Link to the Past Randomizer Tournament uh, Grand Finals, Shulzer versus Obscure Lifeform. Uh, my name is Tracy, and with me today is Willard J. Bradley. How are you doing, Willard? I'm great! I'm ready to watch some finals. Oh man, I can't believe we're finally here. We're finally at the last set of matches, the last best of three, and we're graciously granted with the tournament hard open which is you know kind of fitting because it matches up with the qualifiers that got us here in the first place so yep yep great. this is what we started with and it won't be quite what we end with because it's only game one uh so at least one or maybe even two more games after this but yeah we will get to see tournament hard mode one more time which uh, as was already pointed out by james fnx in chat lots and lots and lots of heart pieces <laughs> It'd be funny if the if finals was just a best of one for some reason. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh, oh, this is it. This is all you get. All right. We, speaking of getting, we got a book. Book and sank. Yeah, not a fan of books, but books early. If you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get a book, let it let it come early. Just just yeah, give it to me now. I can just route it in whenever. I don't mm -hmm. have to go and, out and, of my know, way for it. Good chance shells will probably route it in with this Lost Woods play. Checking that pedestal, just getting that information right out of the way. While we see obscure heading towards Hyrule Castle for the standard uncle. Start gonna check the tree pole here. Not gonna check the pass tree the tree pole. <laughs> yeah, I guess he didn't pick up the sign, did he? No, he I, didn't. it's just I'm so used to that. It's just usually, but it is you know it's a little slow walking there. And you know if you get a, I guess if you get like a weapon in here, you could also just kill one of those guards with a pot, and then go yeah, in. Yeah, it is a little bit faster if you're gonna save and quit to do the actual uncle item first, and I. Can't imagine why you I mean you can't do a whole you get the first chest in Hyrule Castle, but you need some weapons to kill enemies beyond that, so you don't expect anyone to go further. Obscure gonna get his book. Shoals are Everyone checking Bush Crab, just a wee bit of magic, no bombs unfortunately. Okay, yeah, this early I think he grabbed that 20, but it looks like he since he doesn't have bombs, doesn't have a lot of money, maybe he wants to approach south to north, or maybe he's gonna do something else. Yeah, the thing is, with all these heart pieces showing up, you're less likely to get, you know, early rupees, which can be nice for buying bombs. We do yeah. have our first map check. Two, look like a does two red crystals in the, in the light world with a book already of <laughs> making desert partially available. <laughs> I did see a red, uh, green pennant at Hera, but uh, that was too quick to see the the red crystals on my end. But I'll take your word for it. Yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Those are farming the bombs down here. Getting one at least. Maybe, okay, gets two and three. Three oh, is man. good. Three is enough to do everything in Kakariko, unless you have to do the race game, but we'll check that first. Looks like we are going to get that pet check on Obscure's side. Also picking up the heart pieces along the way. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> not going to get that. That's a heart piece. We're not, not getting that heart piece. <laughs> You're not gonna you're not gonna use that bomb you just got to go get that. Come on, that's why you got him, right? Yeah, nothing at ped. A sword, a sword. at the library. Oh, so <clears throat> anytime I see that, it means that that's gonna be the gold sword. Every it just happens. It so sure often. feels that way, right? <laughs> it really does. But who knows? Maybe we'll leave Kakariko with some booties. A glove. Ooh. Okay, so a little back nice. of escape action in, in a little bit. Mm -hmm. See what else we can find on here. Maybe get us a little little Death Mountain action, maybe? We get the lamp. I mean, we can... Oh, there's the mirror. Ooh, yeah, nice oh. mirror. And a bottle. a bottle. A little more convenient for Obscure, that bottle location. But uh, Scholzer will, will back up a little bit and check Sick Kid. And some flippers so that the fish will be able to swim. Oh, we always like the irony of the uh, fish sprite not being able to swim. And a fire rod from Sick Kid, so that's an important bottle. Oh, never mind. Obscure's going to do this backwards, so yeah, he's going to have to do that little backtrack as well. The only thing is, not seen like, any money at all yet, though we still haven't been in Blind's Hut. Yeah, I don't think uh -huh. Obscure got any bombs. I think that that's the issue. So he may not have checked this back item. No. See Always feels awkward is. leaving Kakariko without checking Bottle Vendor. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in this mode, I feel like, you know, 
What if it's just another hard piece? Could be. Yeah, I mean, the amount of time it takes to farm versus you're going to be back here at some point anyway, I, I tend to skip it, um, but it doesn't come off that often in regular Link to the Past. Last check coming up here in Blind Hut, and then we'll be on our way. Let's see if we find anything else in here. Obviously, runners looking for, particularly the shoals are looking for that. The well, I mean, both runners are probably looking for boots, but boots leading to a sword at the library yep. would be a really nice uh, consolation prize while uh, we're over here. That's too bad for obscure hit. He gone for Blind Hut. There were bombs down there, but that's a worse one to double dip if you have to. So I don't blame him for going for the well. Oh, that's an important item, that Moon Pearl. So no bottle vendors, so that's going to stay there for the time being. Maybe we'll pick up a loot at some point and come back, or whenever we go for our Village of Outcast portal, we can grab it. Yeah, there's plenty of things that'll take the runners back to Kakariko to check that later. Mm. Uh, we are going to get back of Escape from Shoulder. Quite a, quite a few items <laughs> this early in the seed. Quite nice to see you. Uh, he was trying to set up a, a stun right before the bomb went off. Oh, okay. Well, let's hey, just... that's let's just go to Dark World. <laughs> Mitz, let's just go to Bad Dark World. Mitz and uh, Moon Pearl. No, no weapons to speak of. Can't actually kill blind even. So can't even c finish these down. <laughs> now I think this is smart. The shoulders not gonna go straight to the Dark World here. There's, there's still quite a bit of Light World stuff. You really want to have yeah. at least a weapon <laughs> before making that play. The problem is even in a situation <laughs> he like can't even unless he like picks up some magic somewhere. I guess he could pick up a, a green potion, and then have fire rod shots for cleared mini molder and cave. Yeah, two bombs are not, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Uh, and he might he might reset this if the mushroom here is nothing. It's like Obscure's gonna follow the same path here. We'll see what he does after getting his mitts out of the back. And... Well, you know, uh, you know, I, I that's a tough one to reset this early when money's been hard up. You know, you can use that money. You can buy some bombs to do South Shore. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, we're not even close to like considering it for checking fake magic powder. Or the fake powder. So. Yeah, fake powder just so rarely pays off. But I mean, when it does, it pays off big. And I commentated a race where that was a big part of it. Uh, but it just doesn't happen that often. So yeah, I mean, 100 bucks this early. Uh, in fact, Shoulders just says, you know what? I'm going to go check that bottle vendor right away. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And, you know, you also do need a little bit of money going into Village of Outcasts because of, like, chess game or digging game. Yep. So No, no nothing worse than oh, just bombs, <laughs> sadly. Uh, very <laughs> expensive bombs. No, nothing worse than going into Village of Outcasts and you go to the chess game and you don't have enough money. <laughs> like, for some reason, the dig game, uh, usually it's pretty, it's more, it's, cause it's, I guess because it's 80 bucks versus 30. It's more easy, easier to be aware that... Um, don't have enough money for it, but the 30 for a chess game can can catch you sometimes by surprise. Yeah, if you're ready for it. <laughs> Unless you're lucky and you get like a you pull 100 rupees or 50 rupees out of out of chess game, which can happen. Like not even like the initial prize. Yeah, this one. Yeah, see, see? there there you go, 50 and 50. See, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, I guess the other word was Thieves Town. It, it would have been kind of weird. I mean, not that it couldn't happen to have. Two red crystals and the green pendant in the light world. <laughs> of course, I missed that map check. I'm just reading what chat's saying. And we're going to go into, into Thieves Town, but we can't finish this dungeon. <laughs> like, how often no. do we say that? Like, it's, you know, Thieves Town is the dungeon that you, you so often do first because it has so few requirements to finish the dungeon. But got to have something to kill blind, and we have nothing. That fire rod, even if we had full magic, not going to do it. <laughs> With this early of the of mitts and mirror and all that stuff, I mean, we could see some very efficient routing through of the overworld at this point, which is, which is nice. Yeah, because um, that mirror and yeah, that mirror just lets us, you know, do all those checks at the same time. Scare muscle memory into a chess game, not realizing that he only has a buck. Yeah, exactly. Can't really, can't yeah, really do much it, with that. Exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, obscure didn't get the hundred bucks off of. Uh, off of the uh, potion shop, so 
has not turned in that mushroom. Yeah, I really like this kind of routing early dark world like this with the mirror. Uh, I'm not as mm -hmm. big a fan of it without the mirror. But so far, we're, we're not getting a whole lot here. No. And the nice thing is even after like Hype Cave, you could even take it all yeah, the way down to like the dam oh, in yeah. Moldron Cave or whatnot. Um, yeah, and who knows? I mean, we could, we could very easily find Hookshot and Hammer and go straight into Swamp Palace by the end of this road. For now, we're getting an Ether Medallion yeah. out of C-Shape. Nice TBD. And probably even gonna, you know, grab the Smith, drag the purple chest. Probably do, we'll do Dig Game first, because Dig Game guy does not like followers. Mm hmm. Now, this is going to be interesting for uh, Obscure if something ends up being on Digging Game, since he's very low on rupees and can't do this. Unfortunately, he's only missed 50 <laughs> bucks in the in the chess game so far. Shells are off to a bad start in the Digging Game, missing his first two strikes. <laughs> Whoops. Um, also getting enough money here for an eventual pod trip. We do need money for Zora. That's about it. Of the and you know, as you said, I think you said earlier about Smith Chain that cost us 10 rupees as well. So that's another easy one to forget, yeah. <laughs> and Skir doesn't even have that money. Oh my, <laughs> yeah. Imagine he goes for that, he's like, Oh, we'll can't do even Smiths. do this. I can't do it. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, the nice thing about you know being able to do this this early is it just it doesn't feel quite as bad to drag these followers around when you don't have the boost. Now, you can run with the smith, but you can't run with the purple chest unless no. you do some hookshot shenanigans. So, you know, if you're just, if you're, you're, you're not going any slower by dragging that purple chest right now. All right, Skira about to get some bad news. So he can turn him in. He just, I don't, you can't get the item off of him. That's all. Right. <laughs> 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 I, you know, I don't remember the last time. I don't know if I've ever personally seen a, a race where somebody couldn't get the item off of Smith because they didn't have $10. <laughs> like, it doesn't that's, happen very often. I, no, he's I can not honestly, miss those I can five definitely bucks. say I've never seen it in the finals of a tournament. I, I, I hope I've also obscure <laughs> just never writes seen that off. Uh, I really hope he just writes that off because that's uh, going to be a, very out of the way to go back to that at this point. I guess maybe you can do it with Hammer Pigs. And, you know, Hammer Pigs was like the location in Qual, so it'd be funny if that showed up <laughs> as a thing here. Oh, you mean the hookshot and hammer, and <laughs> hammer Pigs that showed up like three times? Three, at least three times. Yeah, I'm scared grabbing his 20 bucks <laughs> so that maybe he can go back. Uh, I was wondering, I, I, I learned something. I wasn't 100% sure the purple chest shows up if you don't pay off the smith, but I think mm -hmm. that I think I, I think that was. I mean, obviously, we, we saw it here. It was the case. It's interesting in, like, a, a mode where you have hints on, you get a hint for purple chest, you can just, you know, turn in the smith and then say, all right, well, I don't want whatever you're whatever. Yep, my gold is in my purple chest. purple chest. <laughs> I think I've seen it in, like, uh, spoiler modes or, or co-op modes in, in League mm, when they yeah. do that sort of thing. Oh yeah, especially in spoiler where every second actually counts. Definitely counts. No. Are we buying bombs here? That's a very expensive pack of bombs. And he's not gonna rely on finding a weapon out of hype cave before yeah. hitting the mini moldering cave, I'm Yeah, assuming. that's fair. My only concern would be if uh I guess yeah, no we have access to if if he was thinking about going to pot, he no longer has the money for it, but there are other mm -hmm. things we can do before that. Careful. A little spicy over here in a hype cave. We got a heart container. 20 bucks. A flute. Ooh, a nice flute. And another heart container. So healthy. So the highlight was the flute. We will need that. Misery Mire is a crystal today. So we do need the flute. Now we have uh, double access to, to desert now. Yeah, we have, you know, when you get mitts and mirror this early, it, and, and now flute, which gets us up to Death Mountain as well. I mean, we can't do too much up there without hammer, but like there's a lot of. Uh, uh, access points we have at this point. And yet, we still have no clearable dungeons. <laughs> exactly. That's, <laughs> that's like the worst scenario, too. Uh, actually, can we clear? Well, maybe we can clear desert. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on Big Key. Wait. 
Did Chelsea just lose his purple? No, he already checked it, right? Okay. Uh, he really didn't like that other block. That one had to go too. Now we're going to get it's on early Bombless check. Ten just arrows. arrows. Never coming back Ooh. to the... Oh, that's an item we want. He doesn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll get He'll get it later. It'd be funny, though, if, like... Well, no. He... Okay, like, a r Jeez. the rarest of situations where Hammer shows up in the second chest and then Hookshot is in the next chest and oh it's like, man, God, I could have had Samaria for a diver... No, no. That's not gonna happen. That'd be funny, though. Well, then I, well, I was about to say the nice thing about Samaria is it gives him extra ammo for a mini Moldorm cave, but not a lot with just... With so little in his magic. Uh, I do like this checking swamp. Uh, it's super on path. You just check those first chests and just mm. you know, not worry about the hammer there. Now we have a weapon to kill blind with. <laughs> oh. Anybody want to do a red cane blind fight? <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> so Joe's going to go ahead and go activate flute. I feel like he probably should have just at least gone ahead and did mini modern cave, but I don't know. Maybe he wants you, a couple more mean... bombs or something. You can flute to eight, and you're pretty close to Mini Moldorm right there, so maybe that's his plan. Well, he could always flute back to the dam and then get some magic off the bush crab. Then mm. have fire out shots to use on Mini Moldorms. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Or even, you know, more uh, blocks to throw. More blocks to throw? You're right! Well, aside from... Where was that mushroom, anyway? Was that... Was it back that of was escape, just in or Kakariko? was it in Kakariko? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was back of escape. Okay. These runners have both basically done the exact same thing. Pretty much. I'm just wondering when those boots are going to show up. I mean, at this rate, that, that sword is progression, potentially. Oh, we're going to buy yeah. a green potion and refill. Okay. The nice thing is uh, a single Samaria block can do quite a bit of damage on these Moldorns wood. Yeah. Uh, so does bombs. Bombs are pretty dang good, too. All right. We got another heart container. Silvers. That's a nice one. Yeah. Our, our non-progressive bows. Mm -hmm. We have a cape at Desert Ledge. That's interesting. I don't know. We, we never went north in Dark World, so there could be progression at Bumper Ledge. Yeah, I, I'm also not a fan of that scout when you know you're just going to be going to the light world there anyway. Uh, I'm pretty certain it's faster just to look at the item. <laughs> we have Bombos for Misery Mars, so add that to the list of things we need. We are finally getting a little bit of divergence. Line check of Lake Kylia Island, but you know, those eight bombs. Oh, he already did like, uh, he already did mini Moldorm, so it doesn't hurt to have extra bombs, though. Definitely not what you want to go out of your way for. Yeah, that's another thing about this mode is there's no progressive bows, so there's just, there's just silvers, and you just get a look at them and think to yourself, man, this could be a bow, and I could be beating a dungeon right now, but <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I'm yeah, going to get our info, see here. if we can clear desert, depending on this big key location. That might have been like particularly why shells are picked up a potion to maybe use on Lamolas. Okay, so we're logically boots locked. Are we hard mm -hmm. boots locked? Let's see, you getting a big key here? No. What do we got? We've got Burn Up. Yeah. Okay, so we are we are hard boots locked. Honestly, as a runner, I don't mind learning that I'm going to get boots. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> like, you're not gonna. Like, so when maybe I go through and, and I find a clearable desert, even if it's you know a lot only uh, out of sequence, you know, out of logic clearable. I worry, but am I gonna get those boots? You know, and then if you don't, and then suddenly you get to GT and you got a, a big key on the torch, and you <laughs> just, no, just just let me know I'm gonna get the boots somewhere. Mm -hmm, for sure. It's it's like when you get, you know, a lot of people gripe about seeing a seed as a uh, aggro required because there's a required item on Lumberjack. And I'm like, good, 
<laughs> I, I just know to do it. That yeah, just means I'm, I'm gonna get the boots. And especially if it's yeah, like another, a glove yeah, or a, you know, especially like a moon pearl, like. Oh, that's, I think my my favorite is Moon Pearl on Library because you just know you're getting boots really early. <laughs> so, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, that's all so, we can do in that area for Shulzer. Uh, no sword, to even even if we had Pombo, so we don't have a sword to cast it. So, uh, can't do anything there. Uh, I'm guessing this will be uh, the rest of South Shore. I guess he can swim there. True. Okay. Nothing at Saha's closet, and it looks like Obscure is going to be bit... dipping. Dipping. We're pot. going pop. Which is a very interesting play, given that we have no lamp, no bow, no hammer. Uh, hammer no doesn't hammer. do much for pod till the end, but no. I mean, it is needed. Um, and I just realized, uh, I mean, we thought maybe Shulzer was grabbing that green potion to fill up his magic, but I think it's going to be for the, uh, for the, uh, potion glitch over here in pod when he gets there. Do you think Shulzer's gonna go to pod next, too? I don't... Uh, I, th here. I would think he would do South Shore, finish up South Shore first. But I think, I think pod's on his mind. I mean, I guess at this point we're kind of... I mean, all of our dungeons gotta stink at this point, don't they? <laughs> It's like, okay, do I go pod? Do I go, you know, ice palace without hammer? We got both go canes now for my, for blind. <laughs> so, yeah. But I mean, at this point, since you already dipped into Thieves Town, you're like hoping you can hold off until you have the hammer just so you can yep. make sure you're not forcing yourself into a third dip later. Yeah, and it is pendant pod, so, you know, you hope you never have to come back. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Pendant the, Pod the, has a bad the habit. stuff out of the way. <laughs> yeah, Pendant Pod has a bad habit of having uh, required things. I don't think we've seen Ice Rod K from either one of them. I guess we're going to see right now from Shulzer. In case anyone's wondering, this is music from uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. So, uh, some good tunes. Loving the MSU stuff. It's great. Uh, there are good MSUs. <laughs> there are bad ones, too. So <laughs> This is a good one. Oh, hey, Ooh. look, a sword. That's a good find. Yeah, actually, that's going to be really nice for Shoulder going into pod, because like this room that Obscure is in is not too bad without anything to see off. You got a boomerang to see off of. Uh, but the sword just makes dark rooms so much better. Obviously, the lamp makes them much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, it's also... Know, failing having a lamp, having a sword is like the next best, next best thing. <laughs> right. Uh, this also means that Shulzer can go beat uh, Mopula in the Skull yeah. Woods. You can do Skull Woods and you can finish Thieves Town. And this works out for him because I don't think Shulzer ever went back to check pad. So now he can get that information once he's done up here. Yeah, find out about the uh, the hoard of money that actually would be kind of useful right now. <laughs> That's waiting for him if he finishes all the pendant dungeons. Um, I don't think we're ever getting that because uh, Turtle Rock being a pendant, yeah. I, I even if we did beat every pendant dungeon, I don't think you're we're not pulling it. <laughs> the money on the pedestal. Come no. on, Trace. <laughs> you have to be pretty hard up for cash at that point. I'm not Unless sure what you're you'd be like, spending it on at that point. <laughs> <laughs> or you're one of the individuals that likes to try and get every item in the game. Which, you know, there are Ugh. some people that do like to play the game that way. More power you to know, them. I tell this story, and unfortunately it's not, it's not a link to the past, but my very first Super Metroid randomizer, uh, I was going to get all the items. I was like, yeah, I can get all the items. And then I died in a place that I didn't want to ever go back to. And I'm like, nope, nope, not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Missing out on that one. <laughs> yeah, and that was the end of me ever, you know, full clearing a randomizer. <laughs> Well, that, that's definitely a, uh, a thing that I mean, at least I go for when it when it comes to um, playing new randomizers is just doing everything just so I can learn where everything is. Yeah, kinda. that makes a lot of sense. Shells are taking probably some unintentional damage in the overworld, but it's going to help set up a, a death warp to uh, have more health going into the boss fight. It's Nothing really shown key. up here. Nothing really shown up in pot either. 
Unless... No. <laughs> we haven't gotten to the interesting part of pot anyway. You know, the four, the guaranteed four small keys in the front. Well, all we have left is Bowside. He's already done all the back. Oh, that's right. He did the back. He did the dark maze? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was too I... busy watching Shoulder. Missed it. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to try and put this off to the end if your keys allow it, because then you can, you know, maybe you get the bow in the back if it's, you know, not bow locked. And then you can just do this the normal way. We are going to get a mimic clip, a straight up mimic clip here. Meanwhile, we're going to get a, uh, you know, this is not a safe moth fight. No. He does have eight fire rod shots. I I'm actually a really big fan of using the fire rod for moth here. It looks like we're gonna go with uh, with swords. Yeah, and... No, he's gonna go bow. Do bo both. Okay. It's, it's definitely I would definitely pick fire rod over like fighter sword slashes. Absolutely. Or spins because spins is always kind of treacherous in this fight, just because it kind of locks you into a particular movement pattern and makes it a lot easier for you to get hit. But no trouble. Takes down moth, gets a compass, mm -hmm. and gets his first crystal. Well done. Yeah, it was a good moth fight. And all, uh, all F does get the mimic clip, and we're gonna find out what's over on this bowside pond. Oh, it's another key. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? The oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we know. Okay, Shulzer, and we'll have to go to pod at some point. <laughs> the last second bailout. Oh, oh my god. god. So. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> this is good for obscure because now you know he's gonna miss. He missed out on that sword in Ice Rod Cave. Now he goes go get one at library. Yeah, it works. It works out. And when he goes to desert, he's just going to be able to clear it right away, which is nice. Uh, now, there still could be things here. These will not be the bow. It could be arrows. Yeah, <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I like non-progressive bows, because like we know these, these uh, bonk items can't be bows, because non-progressive <laughs> right, whereas yeah. you, you know when you have those progressive bows and you know you, the worst is you you read it there you know the archer class hint on ped mm -hmm. or even just at lumberjack and it's like okay is that my bow or is that my silvers you know right, you, right. you don't always it, know it can be a little frustrating all right there is one item i guess both items ended up being in the front here Anything else in Skull Woods? Woods. Just, I mean, at least this is an Ambrosia Skull Woods, but Skull Woods, when it's not Key Sandy, is a lot of. Oh, <laughs> such a bad key layout for his route. <laughs> it's like, I want to try and skip as much as I can, but nope, <laughs> you have to do all of it. Okay, can we can we avoid the big chest, maybe? Maybe? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed. The absolute. For, for his route, the. And, and going straight to the back when you can just kill the boss. Uh, I, I like it better when you have a slightly better sword, but I mean it's still I think a good play to do in general. Um, and unfortunately for that this key, this uh, item layout, just the the slowest possible way to do skull woods here. So we have a beatable skull, we have a beatable thieves, we have a beatable desert. Yeah, I'm not surprised that he's not rushing back to Thieves Town again. Uh, at this point, you've already half cleared it, so. Uh, would be really nice to wait for the hammer. Beatable green pendant Hera. Ooh, that's always fun. Still need to find that hammer. <laughs> uh, we didn't see the second item in desert, right? Yeah, because yeah, we were pretty cause... quickly locked out. Yep. Yeah, and with like pendant TR. You no, know, we don't have to worry about ice rod. We might be able to. Not have to worry about finding another medallion if it's like Quake for TR. Yeah, you hope it's Quake for TR and you just don't ever have to think about it. If, mm -hmm, well, assuming we don't sure. find Quake. So we'll need a bow, Having we'll need a hook. TR, TR a, a bombless TR isn't bad either because, you know, at the very least, you know you won't have to search for your Meyer medallion there. All right, we're going to yeah. see. A trip over to Catfish at this point for Shilzer. Yeah, and he probably does the, the other checks in this area, except Zora, because, like, no money. Mm-hmm, true. 
Those yeah, doors can seen... be pretty badly orphaned, but uh, you know, saw... it doesn't have to be anything. We saw Hobo. We didn't see Waterfall Cave, right? Right. It looks like the second item is either going to be in the big chest or on the boss. Mm. What is I, it going like to be? Go, I like to go rush Lanmo if it's 50-50, because it doesn't cost that much more time to come back to this. But not a big... If this is the item, it probably saves a little bit of time. Is it the item? Nope. No. <laughs> yeah, and just bombs on cash. <laughs> 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 we don't need bombs anymore, so we're just going to mirror and not even pick them up. Nah, we got a we got a sword that'll do the trick. Ten arrows, heart piece. <sighs> we, we've hit the point, I guess, where the seed is just going to be kind of a slow drip, getting the yeah, rest of our items. We got a lot items. of we got a lot of stuff early, which is fine. We like that. We it, it makes it interesting. We already had one required item in a pendant dungeon. Um, you Nothing know, maybe our next ledge. progression, maybe our hammers in uh, Tower of Parrot or something. Oh, and it looks like Obscure's going to skip out on fighting Lamolas, probably because of magic. No magic, yeah. I mean, it's you can do... The, it's not a great fight with the fighter sword, but, I mean, it's not... It is slow, but... I mean, I guess you have to come back for Meyer anyway. I'd be... This is know, I'd like this better if, if Lanmo didn't have an item. Yeah. If, he, if Lanmo doesn't have an item, and that would be a reason to do big chest before the back. Because, like, if you get that second item, then there's no rush to do Lanmo. You just do it right, right, you know, right. when you do Myra later on. But mm -hmm. with Lanmo having an item, um, I'd be more hesitant to leave this. I mean, he can't get that back there very quickly, but it's a yeah, bit of an interesting choice. We'll see how it plays out. Shells are going to be heading to the Pyramid and then probably heading to Pod, where he'll eventually get his boots... After getting Indeed, a lot of nothing in pod. Yeah, I, I fully expect him to get get the boots because I'm still pretty sure that green potion was bought specifically uh, for that play. Oh, you know what? Shelzer has not been to the castle at all. Or even Uncle. No, well, and this is as good a time to, as any to do it, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how <clears throat> um, how little rupees we've seen throughout this race so far, yeah. like in the pool. I mean, we do know where one of the 300s are, but where are the other ones? So I'm going to assume Skier is probably heading up to go do Skullwoods as well. Let's see if... Uh, yeah, I think that's a, the, a good play for him. We'll see if he goes it back to front as well. Or if he manages to gain some time by doing it front to back. Oh, hi, Bomb Treeful. Well, I think <laughs> that's not useful anymore. <laughs> um, I mean, the only way he'd be able to do front to back is if he dropped down like in the bottom left hole, because I believe the first item to the was right of the big item, chest was yeah. this was a shield. Yeah. I mean, you could steal the key and go back, but that's that's yeah, slow that's, too. That's, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. That's slow too. <laughs> we get new checks here at the castle, though. Yeah, maybe we'll find something good. Like a hammer. Now everybody's looking for that. Or oh. a bug net. <laughs> Close. Not really. <laughs> so we have, we still have a ice palace dip that we could do, Ooh, which, yeah, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. is hammer and ice palace. Never seen that before. <laughs> we do have Samaris who we can do some ice. Like maybe we'll get a small key in the first chest and then you can safely icebreaker without getting locked on the right side. Uh, otherwise you can like, do the ice palace jump, kill the berry, grab a small key, and then mirror out, and then do icebreaker. Yeah, there's, um, a, there's a few choices. Uh, oh, hey, that's that's a thing. Uh, we got Bobos oh. in the castle. So Bolus Viddy, <laughs> Bolus Fighter Sword Viddy. Hmm. <laughs> we got a cape for a little bit of help for that, but ooh. yeah, that cape is huge in that fight. Then, like, oh, that's... for sure. I mean, it'd be better if you had an uh, extra sword. Then, yeah, I, I like, love, it, I love would cape be, with would Master be Sword just, Plus. <laughs> would be free at that point. You just stand yeah. there and... Flash mash. away. So we did get a required item, so that's good. 
for shelter. Not doing dark cross. Maybe he didn't get no. I guess he didn't get the small key. Okay. Yeah, so, I think yeah. small key in in uh, in dark cross. And going back into that mirror portal says he's probably headed towards Pod, which he'll be very happy he did. Yep, he's headed towards Pod. So should get his boots. Uh, maybe dips into Eastern. I don't know. Yeah, Eastern without the bow, it just mm -hmm. always feels bad. But he's going to get boots. That's going to allow him to do desert. He just got a Bombos medallion, which puts him into uh, Misery Mire. Misery Mire, not fully in logic until we get a lamp, but we may never see that lamp. Oh, yeah. And Shelzer would have to get those boots first before he could even go into Mire. Because you kind of yep. need those to get past that first room. But, uh, I mean, I don't know if you would chase down, you know, go into Mire knowing that the boots are blocked. <laughs> but then again, yeah, you know, you could, I mean, you could still, find, like, the hook shot in there. I mean, Hammer then... could still be in there. Uh, oh, yeah, Bo I mean, could, there could still be. Bo could be there if hook shot is available elsewhere. So. Rule. That's a good point. It's a lot of ifs. Uh, my bigger concern maybes. would be just only having that. Well, no, because he could go. He could go in with Master Sword. Because if he gets boots, he can pick up the. Uh, he can pick up his Master Sword at Library. I would definitely do that first. Because then, if you're going to commit to the Vidi fight, you you know, like we said, Cape plus uh, Master Sword. Just uh, it's kind of slow, but it's it's pretty free. You're you're not at risk of dying. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Gold Sword with Cape. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We That's won't be getting that here. It's hard mode, so <laughs> won't be seeing a gold sword. But you know, tempered should show up. Now I wonder if Shelzer is gonna do the same route in Pod as obscure, or if he's gonna mimic clip or potion glitch right away. That could save him a little bit of time. He's gonna save a little bit of time in here regardless, because he's gonna have that sword to see in the dark. Yep. While obscure was having to throw out boomerang several times. And we see Obscure took a very similar path. And it's going to last locate the second item in Skull Woods. Oh, this music's so spooky. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Skull Woods. Thanks for the full clear, buddy. <laughs> for 20 bucks and a shield. Yeah, it looks like Shoulder's going to go ahead and do the the uh, Bolock site first, which is going to save him even more time, because he he'll know, for instance, that the uh, big key chest has a small key. Doesn't ever have to check it. Um, and then he'll just be able to go to the back. And it's just as easy as that with the potion glitch. Did we? I don't think we've seen a lumberjack check from either uh, no, runner. I don't think so. Now this would be interesting, but it's ah, not money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then you know, sword, cape, fire rod. I mean, you're good to go. Agatar, easy piece of cake, right? Yeah. So now Shilzer can get his Master Sword, and who knows, you know, Obscure might never go to Ice Rod Cave. That's... Which is funny, because it's such an easy one to get to with the with that flute. With flute. But... Just flute plus boots makes it a very uh, very easy location to get to. It's one of those but... weird locations that it's... it's That and Agena are like the Sphere 1 locations that you see skip the most. Mm -hmm. I'd say Agena ahead of Ice Rod Cave, but you know, those, those are the ones. If you're going to skip a Sphere 1, that's the one you're going to skip. Those are the ones. It's kind of one of those weird situations where it's like, it's so easy to get to that. Like, I can do this anytime. But, right, exactly. It's all by it's itself. Like, <laughs> I can skip it, but, you know, it's also so easy to get to that, you know, I should just go ahead and do it right now because it's so quick. But, all right, let's see what's up on the mountain. We'll probably be heading into Tower of Hair unless we find something else in now these next. Green. There it oh, is. Okay. That's, that's a hammer. <laughs> that's a hammer. And a lamp, that... okay. Wow. That is, you know, so many times you just don't want to go to the mountain when all you have is, you know, Hendon Hera and two items. <laughs> 
But here, um, we this is a pretty stacked uh, early mountain. You don't see yeah. this much on West Death Mountain that often. You just, you know, you sequence break up there with the glove, or you, you know, go right after Hype Cave and... I, I do wonder if Obscure is really going to leave that lamp behind. Uh, I mean, he doesn't need it, for sure. He's got fire rods, so it's not going to be a fire behind fire situation. But... In this moment, well, we know, and we know we have silver, so torch glitch is not an issue. But I, mm -hmm. I tend to feel that even just for the mire dark room, you're probably saving a reasonable amount of time picking that up. Dolzer, meanwhile, is going to dip into eastern. And we're we're still looking for items uh, right now, though. It's looking like East Death Mountain is going to have yep. the goods, probably. I like Obscure's choice to, to check those first chests in uh, Hera and not bother finishing it without um, the big key showing up because waiting, waiting. You know, we don't have a hook shot to break it, which I'm not really a fan of sequence breaking dependent Hera as opposed to Crystal Hera that you have to do anyway. Yeah. Oh, Hera Pod. I've, I've definitely yeah. seen situations where it is both good and bad. It, mostly if, like, you know, something's in the basement or in the big chest. It is Quake for TR, so that's good. That's as long as we potentially never find very that good. medallion. Now we're going to see a hover and hookshot cave. I believe Obscure is one of our hover guys. It's going to do uh, just... Super Bunny first, which makes sense because maybe you just get the hookshot here and you don't have to worry. <laughs> yeah. You spend all that time hovering it, and then it's like, oh, look, the hookshot was right here the whole time. <laughs> um, we did see Schulzer pick up a red boomerang. Just, you know, really important. Had to call that one out. Uh, here in Eastern. Let's see what else he can find in here. Hey! Money! Some money. Hey, we have Zora oh. money now. After Finally. completely orphan Zora. <laughs> I can't imagine we'll be seeing Zora anytime soon. Nope. Oh, I guess we do Paradox Cave before. Paradox Spiral, and then we'll do Hookshot last. last. Could also do, uh, actually could do uh, Spike Cave after Hookshot Cave too, so... This routing is going to work out pretty well for Obscure. Mm -hmm. So what's the next piece of the puzzle that we're looking for? I guess bow and hookshot. Is all we really... That's yeah, it, bow right? and hookshot for, for no mode. Mm -hmm. We do know where another sword is for Obscure. It's over in Ice Rock Cave, but who knows? Maybe I'll just stumble upon one here in Paradox Cave. Not have to worry about that. Does need to be a little careful. Those red tektites do two hearts of damage. And they like to do some... Crazy diagonal jumps. Um, but yeah, I mean, after this, if we, I mean, if we get out of here and not find anything else, like we have a beatable ice palace we can go to. Thieves Town is now safe to go clear. The rest of. Oh, that's all three items out of Eastern. Unfortunately, none of them any of any use. The real question is, let's see. Eastern. Okay. Well, hmm. I'm wondering when Obscure is gonna f get that Bombos out of uh, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, that's 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 his his uh, like right now. I feel like with uh, not counting oh, that. Bo there's our Master is. Sword. Okay, not counting that that Bombos. Uh, Obscure feels a little bit ahead, uh, but that Bombos is not in a great spot for him. Did, did he just he just skipped all of Hookshot Cave? Not even the first chest, right? No, he did. Yeah, that's weird. That's a little weird. Okay. Well, um. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure, certain he can hover that. Um, granted, one of the things you're looking for is a hook shot. And mm -hmm. I, I, so, I feel I like guess bow can only be. Yeah, it is kind of a weird situation with that bow. Um, with the boots behind oh, the bow, right. it does make it a little less likely that you're gonna find hook shot there. Yeah, yeah. But it's I mean, a, he's also yeah. still looking for bombos. That's true. Um, gonna finish the East Town. We got the hammer, so that makes sense. And where is Schulzer going? Gonna check Lumberjack real quick. Looks like. Yeah, I think this. Is, I mean, if you're yeah, you're doing the boots check. This is when you do it. Mm -hmm. Or and one of the two. You either do it at the beginning of the game, or you do it when you do the other boots checks. Go grab that sword, and then I wonder if he'll head up the mountain next. He's kind of running out of good options. No, he, he's I got won't. he's got Misery Meyer. That is true. He could get his Master Sword and go do Misery Miner. Yeah. Which would make, for him, the lamp pickup uh, a little 
uh, more skipping a little more defensible uh, if he does mire in the dark because uh, our our dark rooms are eastern palace which with the fire rod is is trivial um we don't have to do pod we don't have to do turtle rock so yeah whereas obscure uh saw that fi that lamp before he can even get into misery mire so I, I, i'm still a little bit surprised he didn't pick that up or okay no shoulder's gonna go do this stuff right now I think both plays are pretty reasonable at this point. Um, and especially because, you know, still at this point, his boots are not in logic. So yep. he knows that, you know, depending on where Hookshot is, that he's going to have, that he's supposed to have bow for for Meyer, unless mm -hmm. he finds the Hookshot. So. I mean, and having bow for Meyer just makes the Vinny fight again basically free. So. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have. And Meyer can kind of stink if you have to full clear it. Depending on where yeah, the items are. Yeah, the two items in Meyer and I mean if the big key's in a bad spot, then like whatever, because your opponent has to mm -hmm. do it too. But you know, if it's like a god Meyer and the big key's really early, then and it turns out there's nothing else in there, then it just feels bad because you're just thinking, yeah. oh, there's no way my opponent did everything here. Because of course, you know, like, your opponent always god routes. <laughs> That's every time it works. I mean, it's just what they do. Um it's kinda like, you know, I have access to Swamp Palace. I mean and it's like, I don't want to go there because, like, I don't know. I don't have to make the decision about left side swamp and a go mode swamp is just so nice. Yeah. Oh, you know, this could come down to a, a hookless swamp dip. Woo oh, baby. It's like Schulzer is not going to get that lamp either. Yeah, going to get that hammer. Yeah, he might want that. I mean, he Maybe. could still get the lamp after this if he doesn't want to do Hera. Uh, or he just, you know, there, there are ways to route it in, but mm -hmm. uh, he's going to do all this other stuff first, regardless. And he's just going to get the item on Ether Tablet, which is, as we know, nothing. Yeah. Funny well, how that sure. works. Like, if it's nothing and you don't have the Master Sword, it saves you time. But yeah. <laughs> if it's something and you don't have the Master Sword, then you're just sad because you can't get it. Right. <laughs> Um, so right now, like, you know, it looks like Obscure has a bit of a lead on Schulzer just in how much yep. he's cleared. Um, the big thing really is just that Hyrule Castle having Bombos in the boomerang chest. We will need, and if that inevitably becomes, like, our next progression point, of course, we need to find a hookshot or bow before that becomes yep. a progression point. Um, yep. see. For Obscure, like, at this point, I feel like the only time he's going to check Hyrule Castle is if he's doing Pyramid Fairy. That would be the and most likely time for him to ride it in. Yep. And he oh, he's going back first. to the smith. He's going to get his fiber. The <laughs> I got to... Ooh, shoals are careful. I got to assume Ice Palace is coming up next for Obscure, right? Yeah, this is a good Ice Palace with Hammer. You know, and with uh, Fire Rod not only having the Master Sword isn't too, too bad. Uh, actually, no. I mean, okay. So he can he can save some Fire... I guess he has got a Blue Potion, too, so he could always pop that if he needs it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a little bit slower if you have if you use all eight Fire Rod shots. Now, if he goes in with Sword Beams, he can cut that as much as in half if he does the, uh, the dupe strat. Man, remember, like... 10 minutes ago where we were talking about hammerless ice dive i'm so glad that they don't have to do that oh god yeah hammerless ice is not fun man it's it's so annoying though because there's so many times where it's like it's come down to either doing hammerless ice or hammerless pod and in this scene you didn't have to do uh you didn't have to do either of those technically man i just not even man, a small late key right away, so not late even a small key right away so, I mean, camera go mode is not a terrible go mode unless it's in Ice Palace, but... Why? Well, I mean, yeah, I, unless the it depends on when you hit go yeah. mode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, late, you know, go mode hammer is great, except I full cleared the game first to get here. Yep. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's better than right, Ice right. Rod, you know, the medallion hook shot. See, this, technically the seed wasn't a late hammer seed. These runners just made it a late hammer seed. All you had to do was see the break of the mountain once you got the yeah. glove. I mean, it's right there. I don't know it, why you would do that. 
it's yeah it, it, it's one of those things where the mountain just isn't as is uh desirable when you don't have a hook shot to get across or you know mirror plus hammer to get across mm -hmm. oh, yeah, like so gonna shoulder's gonna show us this this out of logic uh one check uh, well uh it, it could be a hook shot <laughs> it could be hook shot should tell us a lot or it could be a piece of heart you know because heart mode <laughs> Don't think shoals are hovers, so we're not going to see the rest of those chests. Uh, we are going to get Spike with... Cave, though. Is he going to go into Or is he going to get the lamp? I think he's going to go get that lamp. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's the drop down you want if you want the lamp. Yeah, yeah I mean, if you're going to pick on... up the lamp, yeah, I do like his routing in, in, for getting this. Uh, we'll see if he decides to do anything else up here, like more Hera or uh, or any of Hera or uh, Hookshot Cave. I, I do think that this that lamp saves uh, about what it's... At, at worst, I think he breaks even on that with uh, Meyer Dark Rooms. Yeah, at, at this point, I don't think it really saves enough time for it to be worth it. If you had gotten it like before pond or something. Yeah, no, I, well, I think it's like I said, I think it saves enough time for Meyer with it just breaks even. Uh, but yeah, if, if like if pod was still a, um, was a, a dungeon you had to clear, for instance. But we don't. At least we hope we don't. <laughs> Anything in Spike Cave? Nope. Well, yeah, 20 bucks. Yahoo. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, we have no idea what's going on in Ice Palace, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, that might be Shoulder's next uh, destination. Yeah, and Temper Sword in hand's gonna be really nice too. Yeah, it looks we'll like he wants to grab. Potion. Yeah, I, I think this is good. Uh, yeah. Is he gonna fill up and then buy a green, a blue, or is he just no? He just wants the green. Okay. Having extra magic going into Ice Palace, I think, is worth. You're not going to get half magic in this mode. Uh, you only get one bottle. Um, in Ice Palace, if you if you walk into the, uh, I mean, he's got Bombo, so it makes it actually does make quite a difference because you can you know break the shell with a quarter of your uh, magic bar instead of the whole magic bar. Uh, but you know you don't want to get into the cold stair fight and be like, whoops. Uh, whoops. Plus, they'll get extra fire sh fire rod shots uh, after the Bombos. We'll finally get to see what's going on over here. At this point, we are looking for a bow and a hook shot. That's it. And, you know, I'm sniffing out that one of them's got to be in here. Because, I mean, what else do we have at this point? Hera. Green pendant, Hera. One, with, one with... item in Hera and green pendant? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. Which, mm. no hook shot. <laughs> you don't, you don't want oh, and hookless swamp. Yeah, fours. All right, hookless swamp. And yeah, land the other, item. Other okay, thanks, chat. Well, Schulzer, I think if Ice Palace doesn't have anything, uh, it would make sense for him to just go ahead and do mire and desert at the same time. Before doing those awful other choices. Yeah, probably. I mean, you have beatable crystal dungeons, you might as well go do them. But... And I suppose you get information if either bow or hookshot show up in in Meyer. I'm trying to think what that would eliminate. I guess if let me think, if hookshot <laughs> shows up there, uh, mm -hmm. then you don't ever have to go back to hookshot cave because then the bow won just won't be there. If bow shows up there, there's nothing left behind the bow anyway, so I'm not sure that actually gives us any information. <laughs> <laughs> Except, uh, no, Helmosaur is the only thing left behind the bow, so yay, we don't, we can learn that we don't have to go back there, but <laughs> we don't want to go back there anyway, it's probably last location, so. This is the fun part about uh, non-progressive bows, is, you know, we wouldn't be able to have this conversation if it weren't right. for that. That's a fun part about just sequence breaking in general, I think it's just a very important aspect of this game that makes it even more interesting and more fun. Yeah, you know, it is really interesting to try and piece together back the logic when you go ahead and sequence break. And, you know, mm -hmm. being able to do that well uh, is a really good sign. You know, if you can do that well, you know, you have a nice advantage of over your opponents if you can uh, 
keep track of all that sequence breaking and put it back together. Because, you know, when you do that, you can... You can uh, logic out places that where your items can't be. And that's why when people say, oh, we don't care about logic, it, it gets on my nerves. Because we do care <laughs> about logic. We'll break it, you know? We'll, we'll break it to pieces, okay. but we still need to follow it. <laughs> sometimes it's okay to not care about key logic, because sometimes yes. it's dumb. But, uh, but the other stuff, uh, it's worth paying attention to. Yeah. Um, last item on Cold Stair, or did we get all three? I uh, I don't know. I, I I can't even count Ice Palace when I'm playing. At <laughs> all. You know. Yeah, it's it, it, you know when I'm playing a keys mode, that's the compass I probably want more than any other is that Ice Palace compass. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Bombos, Tempered Sword, Fire, uh, easy fight. Interesting, he went way down in the corner to lay that Bombos. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that before. You got a little scared. I'd be scared too. It's a big oh, spooky monster. Going in the going for the left corner strats. Yeah, supposedly you get better splash damage results, but Yeah, I see okay. that more often mm -hmm. when runners have like fighter sword for this fight, yeah. Mm-hmm. So hookless swamp, hair of green pen one item hair of green pendant. I think you Lamble do your crystal is. dungeons first. Now, yeah. And, and just, you know, keep, again, keep track of that logic if uh, you find one of your items in Mire. You also, you know, I could see being more incentivized to skip pieces of Mire if that's your choice. Are we going to do Zora right now? Yeah, we're going to do Zora right now. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen Zora either. Because we just, we had not had any of the, uh, of the we money. We finally already. have money. <laughs> Yay, money. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to. I mean, after this, there's really not a whole lot Scholes is going to want to spend his money on. And, he, mm -hmm. you know, even after he spends the 500 bucks, he's going to have almost enough if he ever wants to buy a blue potion anyway. Uh, the odds are he'll get enough money if, if he does have that desire. He's got a green potion right now, so. Okay, what do we have? Oh, yay! Another piece of heart! <laughs> I am shocked. Absolutely shocked that that occurred. Unbelievable. But yeah, this is a weird situation. Like, do you just go do your crystal dungeons and yeah, then. Yeah, I, I do my crystal dungeons. There? Like, he hasn't. I mean. No, oh, it... uh, Okay, no. Oh, he hasn't done Skullwoods and, and Thieves Town. He did or he just Skull Woods. Hasn't done, hasn't done Thieves yeah. Town. So Thieves Town before the uh, the Meyer Desert combo is is uh, makes a lot of sense. I feel like if one of our options outside of beating Crystal Dungeons wasn't Hookless Swamp, then know, right? maybe or or bad key layout, uh, Hookless Pendant <laughs> Meyer, Hookless Green right. Pendant Meyer, you know. <laughs> Like if that, if that that's if it was the big key that was there, in oh, in the Hera? in the main room, it's a much more desirable dungeon to do. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, I you know, if Hookless Swamp is avoidable, then obviously the time loss from maybe a, a bad mire layout, bad mire, bad hair, hair. Either way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and I guess we haven't seen hammer pegs from Scholzer, so he probably does this right afterwards. We know it's nothing, because Obscure did it. So by now, Obscure's finished up Ice Palace, but we don't know what he what the next play after that is going to be. And we never will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, nothing in. We know there's nothing in Thieves Town. Uh, as it turns out, they didn't need to wait for the hammer because we did find out that the small key is locked by the big chest. Fortunately, there wasn't anything in the back that would have been nice to have sooner, except maybe some money. I think Blind ended up having like a 300. Yeah, Scholzer's gonna have the. You know, I, I like this play. Thieves Town is easy. 
Uh, you know what you're doing, you know how to clear it. There's no, there's no thought process in Thieves Town. Like, it's literally, oh, did I get the small key and do I do the big chest or did I mm. not get the small key? So you get, it gives him time to think about what his next play is, uh, as well as just getting a crystal that you need anyway. Not, no I'm clutch full heal, but he's probably <laughs> fine. not any. being friendly at all. <laughs> I was going to say, no clutch feel, full heal. Shouldn't need it anyway, but now he's at to four hearts, so I hope he stays on, on script. Uh, He'll be the real question is, man, I mean, what do you He's do got blue this? cane if, if he gets into trouble, so, yeah. I feel like just the mire uh, oh, desert hey. is the way to go. We, we have an obscure sighting. Uh, still still on uh, Master Sword, so hasn't gone to Ice Rod Cave. Uh, wants money. Oh, for it's Zora. a blue hand, okay. Well, we'll have to wait and see a pause. I'm assuming if he's doing this that he... Probably hasn't found anything yet. <laughs> anything new. Yeah, probably not. This is where where quick swap is annoying. Yes. <laughs> we, we're not likely to see his menu. Uh, this looks like Ice Rod Cave, at least. So we'll get, get his, his tempered sword. sword. Yeah. I'm just curious yeah. what he did. Well, chat says... <laughs> Chat says his stream tracker has nothing new on it. Uh, apparently he's also wrongly marked his uh, Turtle Rock uh, entry, which only matters if we ever see Quake. And no surprise, apparently he did finish uh, Ice Palace, so... Another piece of heart that we're... Oh, that's right, we already saw that piece of heart that we're never picking up. Oh, Shoulder did lose the purple chest. I thought so. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he must have done it when he mirrored yeah, he, to go into he the Yeah, because he mirrored dam. he mirrored to go into do the whole dam into swamp thing, and then it looked like it had disappeared, but I wasn't sure if he'd already checked it. I'm like, wait, did he have the purple chest when he did that? Now we know this is nothing. Now, I don't think he checked Bombo's tablet either, so he's gonna go into the okay. dark world so he can do double that up. And then he'll have choices. So I feel like if he's doing this, he's probably going into Swamp then? Or, yeah, because I mean, yeah, if you're going to go into Desert, you do it from the Dark World, not the Light World. Yeah, but he can flute off of the Bombos uh, ledge. Right. Oh, so I could see either. Ah, Obscure says, you know what? I'll take that heart piece. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, so we'll see if Scholzer pulls out his flute or if he walks back into the mirror por portal. Let's see what Obscure is up to no, here. No, that's a flute. Flute six. Flute. Flute one. Attack of Hera. Yeah. Okay. Obscure well, looks like he's going into Eastern. Well, that's good for Scholzer. I. For... Or it looks like he already did Hera. He's going to go turn in Green Pendant. Ah, well, we're going to find out what that is then. That's probably what he was doing while uh, he was gone. Oh, oh. baby. Well, that is... there's the hookshot. That's, you know, that's a good news, bad news. It gets really good news for Scholzer if he's doing, if he's really doing Hera right now. Also, mm -hmm. uh, anti Hera pot seed. Just got to shot that out. Yep, uh, yep. <laughs> but that's going to take Obscure even further away from that Bombos. Mm hmm. So, depending on where the bow ends up being, you know, at this, well, yeah, it really depends on what shoulder does after he gets this hook shot. Um, yeah, I mean, because now all the plays he has left are pretty good. But yeah, then, oh man! But then we got we have hook shot cave still, uh, which yeah. So yeah, those, those, so that hook shot's not behind the at all. So any hookshot location is uh, fair able game to have. for a bow. Yeah, fair game mm -hmm. for a bow. That would be pretty rude to have, like go up here, clear the dungeon, get green pennant, get it, get hookshot, and then be forced to go back up to hookshot cave. I mean, knowing I, this game, I've seen it. That's, that's <laughs> probably the thing that's going to happen. But you know, we have a full swamp to clear. We have a full mire to clear. So, so the funny part is, if the bow does end up in hookshot cave. Uh, Obscure could have just had that. 
<laughs> if he'd wanted to hover Hookshot Cave, but he just didn't do any of Hookshot Cave. Uh, whereas I don't think Shoals are hovers, so he he would have to go back. Would have had to go back to that anyway. So we could have the the infamous uh, Hookshot Cave hover seed, <laughs> which are uh, you don't see those quite as often, but they do exist. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting decision by both runners uh, to choose to stay in logic. As a, I mean, Obscura doesn't have a choice because he doesn't have Bombos, but Shoals right. are making the choice to come here rather than going to a clearable Mire. Yeah, um, and I wonder if once Shoals gets his hook shot, if he does Mire Desert first. Mm -hmm. Just now, because, like, we always talk about, you know, delay that left side swap decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you full, full clear. Uh, you know, if you go, if you're goal minus one, you're probably just going straight to the back of swamp. You're not going to do left side first. Uh, but then yeah. you don't get your you you don't get your bow, and you have to make that decision: Do I go back in, or do I go to a full clearable mire, or do I go to a right. do I get that last item on in desert? Now, bow and mire would be like the most interesting logical scenario yep. in this no. scene. Obscure, on the other hand. Whoop doesn't have Meyer yet he hasn't he hasn't done uh hasn't done the castle so i think he almost certainly goes back in but this kind of goes back to when he didn't finish desert earlier uh he i mean granted it wasn't like, i think he was still on fighter sword and he didn't have you know didn't have a ton of yeah, magic, he didn't have any so, magic so it wouldn't would have been a really fast fight so it was reasonable to skip it but on the other hand did have an item <laughs> oh well, there's yeah, the okay. bow there's okay. the bow huh. that's Oh, that's that's bad for obscure. Well, he can go beat Eastern, and then he can do Pyramid Fairy into the castle to get his bombos yeah. for go mode. So yeah, I think that's that's what you do here. So Shoals is about to get his hook shot. The question so yeah, is, really... does Shoals or go into Swamp first, or does he go into does he do Meyer Meyer Desert? If you're hoping for a close race, then you want Shoals to do Meyer Desert first, and have it you know be slow. <laughs> Um, whereas if he goes into Swamp, then I just think this is over. Yeah. Okay, six or seven. Six or four. We're going six or four. We're going four. We're going to the Swamp. I mean, this is the denser set of checks, so it makes sense. It's, it's interesting, because on one hand, like, you know, we need to get the big key in Meyer, obviously. And depending on where that is, you know, you could still end up Basically, full clear in the dungeon while also looking for your progression, your your now, bow. Now, um, what we don't know is whether Obscure has been in Eastern at all. Like, I feel like yeah. when he turned in the green pendant, uh, the play might have been green pendant into Eastern, uh, uh, maybe. Which, which is which would have been you know really nice routing. But then you get your your hook shot, and you're like, well, no, I'm not going into Eastern now. I just kind of <laughs> hook not shot. <laughs> so. So, uh, if he hasn't done any of Eastern, then he's going to be... He gets to one-shot it, which is unlike... Um, as opposed to Shoulder that full cleared it, and we'll have to go finish it. Do you remember where the big key was in Eastern? Was it like... It was vanilla. It was vanilla? Yeah. So, he's not going to... I mean, the, the time save is not double-dipping. He's not going to save time being able to uh, skip anything. And I don't expect Shoals to do left side first either, because, again... Uh, go minus one. You, you hope to never have to go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was definitely a seed where sequence breaking, but then trying to get back into logic was the yeah. correct play. Because, yeah, you know, we could have gone and cleared all of Meyer for, you know, nothing. Nothing. Lose that time. No, it still depends. It really still depends on where. If it's like a Godmire and the big keys in the first two checks, then you save a good chunk of time. Otherwise, but they're going to have the same Myers because they're both going to be well. Yeah, they're both going to be in go mode for Meyer because mm -hmm. Obscure's go mode is the Bombos. Um, I I hope he doesn't. I mean, this is where I really again wish he'd just done Desert. You know, <laughs> I feel like this would be a lot closer if he just done Desert when he was there. Uh, now he still has to do both. And yeah, he, he could say, you know what? Let's go. Hopefully, he doesn't do the let's go do desert and finish off that crystal for that last item before he uh, does a pyramid fairy play. Because uh, pyramid fairy feels like I think we said this before his best chance to just get you know get that bombos item. Because you do pyramid fairy, you see it's nothing. Uh, you do the ledge, you see it's nothing, and then um, 
you go to escape. You just mirror into escape. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he has good options after that. It is anyway, his densest so. play. Mm -hmm. All right, and that and is... there's go mode for Shulzer. Go mode for Shulzer. Right around the 109 mark. And he gets to go mode Meyer. Go back, kill Lamos. Go back, kill Armos. So... See, kind of forcing these runners into a, a, a few double dips, I'd say, because this, you know, double dip swamp, double dip eastern, double dip desert, double dip thieves, uh, double dip Hera for obscure. I don't think Schulzer went in the first yeah, time. Yeah, Schulzer didn't even bother going in the first time. Yeah, to answer chat, Pod was full cleared except Helma. Now, I don't know if Helma had an item, but at this point, it's ir irrelevant. Because at the time they did not have a hammer. Even if you have a hammer in a in a pendant pod, um, it's very common to just say no to going all the way to Helma. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate we had Obscure stream down for that length of time because yep. it's hard to know exactly what he. We'll have to ask him um, what all he did <laughs> during that time period. So Obscure will take a temporary crystal lead. If he goes straight for the escape, Pyramid Fairy and all that, uh, um, I think we still have a, might still have a decently close race. Uh, if he does anything else, then that's going to be really bad for him. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he doesn't really have any, yes, any other options. It's his densest choice. I don't, I mean... He, aside from, he, like, Hookshot Cave, if he, yeah, if he, if he still I, left that he, entirely unchecked. I don't, yeah, I don't see it's so Hookshot out of the Cave. Way. It's out of the way, and... You know, he could have just done it out of logic earlier. I, don't, I always tend to, like, give Pyramid Fairy more value just because of, you know, how much is locked behind. Yep. I mean, Rob Schulzer's going to go ahead and finish up Eastern real quick. Uh, flute to four is good. Also point out that Obscure did not go back into Swamp. I didn't see if there was, was going to be anything on the left side there. Or anything to go... There was at least one item they left because they got a big key in the back. But uh, good choice not to go back in today. Oh! He must have done... De did he do... De he must have done Desert while we're gone because I see it marked on the tracker. Yeah, that's what chat was saying. Yep. So, this might not be as close as we thought it was. <laughs> I mean, I feel like You're now You're going to be we're... hitting Meyer at the same time, but yeah, Soldier's going to have um, both Meyer and Desert to do. And Soldier has to get the big key out of, out of Desert. So yeah, this might actually be lead uh, obscure. It's close, though. Um, you know, certainly within big key routing, if nothing, nothing else. Yeah, there's the nothing in uh, in water f in uh, sorry in pyramid fairy. Uh, fairy for your trouble. I'd like literally rather have any potion. <laughs> right. I mean, can better than a bee. That's all I can with say. <laughs> Fourteen hearts. Okay, so obscure making the right call is going to get his bombos. This is definitely in like GT route. Range. Yep, yep. Proclosis is now. gonna do Meyer first. We're equal on swords, and that's not gonna change because the gold sword uh, will be a nice shiny green 20 if we see it. And not that gold sword makes a huge difference, it just makes it the uh, Ganon fight easier. It doesn't actually make it faster if you are, are one of those people that knows how to do it, and you know, you don't make the finals if you aren't. 
I always roll my eyes every time I find gold sword when I'm still looking for good stuff or like required <laughs> stuff. I'm like, this is nice, but this is not what I want. Yep. Why like, must you waste my time? Sword. I get excited about tempered sword, but yeah, gold sword, you know, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take a gold sword. I'm not going to turn it down, but. Obscure gets his bombos and hits go mode about five minutes later. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, Meyer be key rounding could matter too, or it could just be a god Meyer and it won't. <laughs> uh, if you're a non hover, I kind of like doing the spike chest be first as opposed to uh, the bridge chest. Uh, whereas for hovers, I like the bridge chest first because then you just go for the swag hover across. <laughs> If, if the big key shows up in those places. Or you just get two big keys, two small keys in the front end. Two big keys? Your mom two lets big you have two could be big really keys? Really funny, yeah. Uh, I mean, this could be ludicrous fee where there's four of everything, but that's not, that doesn't include keys. <laughs> that would be obnoxious to watch and race. I'd feel <laughs> like in like a restream, you, you wouldn't know what it's like. Okay, well, we found a thing, and we found a thing. Uh, yeah, the, the trackers it's, work. It's, the trackers work good. would be like all at the beginning, right? You'd, you'd just be constantly having to follow, follow what all everybody's getting, and then you'd just be sitting there waiting for that one last item mm -hmm. that you have to find. Well, okay, Meyer so, not being nice yeah, as expected. No, no matter what, we're gonna get a bad big key location. See if we can avoid cutscene chest. Yes, okay, we, can. we do. Yeah, I don't mind cutscene chest if it's the small key in the compass room. Yeah, because then I mean, you just know. But yeah, when it's like a compass or something, which I think that mm -hmm. that was, it's like okay, um, do I do it now? Do I do it later? You know, it's not going to be a small key, so it's maybe a little bit more favored to be the big key, but not enough to want to do it. <laughs> That's a that's another dungeon key logic I need to like brush up on again about where keys can be. Um, I do know the, the like the one on the left side Meyer where if there's a small key in compass chest then it's vanilla. But there's some other ones that uh, exist that I'm not super. Yeah, there, there's some on. there's there's some ones where you can figure out things because since Vinny can have a small key for instance and then. Things get really weird when you start doing Ambrosia, where now Viddy can't have a small key because he has to have an item. <laughs> Look at that. Obscure. What is... What? He's getting some more magic real quick, so he can actually... Uh... Oh, is that... Oh, that trick. You don't see that every day. Wow. See, there's that where the lamp would have been useful. <laughs> Just saying. True. <laughs> wow. I've seen it used and like... A Trinex fight or a Cold Stare fight. I don't think I've yeah, ever I, seen it used in that room. It. So That is a new one for me, too. Okay, and this is why Silvers are good. Very quick uh, Vidi fight for Shoulder. Uh, Obscure will have the same. You know, I, I'll tell you there. that's the, these are the things that I missed last in last year's tournament when we didn't have silvers. Uh, the Ganon fights, whatever, but you know, get to see the fast Viddy, getting to see like Shoulder's going to be able to silver the uh, silver Landmo. It's always a fun one, um, and he's going to get to do it twice even if he wants. Yeah, this is supposed to be tournament hard. Why are there silvers? <laughs> Shoulder, you don't have the small key, buddy. Oops. You don't have time for this, Mister. No, you <laughs> There's really. No time. No, for that. that's that's <laughs> not time you can afford to give away. Mistakes were made. It happens. Um, you know that that whole refilling magic, the dark mire, like you were talking about. You know these tiny things that might give Shulzer a little bit a time to even this out, but. If he just had to go and kill Lambolas, if he I yeah, think it'd be if he had the a key. lot closer. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Like when when Obscure went in here the first time, even though he didn't finish it the first time, um, he was able to get all the keys because he had the boots. Uh, 
shoals are dipping desert before uh, going to pod, uh, unfortunately, uh, has to go get all these keys. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, like, it's not gonna be that like far going behind, but it's ba it's a back of desert behind, mm -hmm. which is not as bad as a full desert behind. But right. Well, this was like two thirds desert behind. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, back of desert is probably about two thirds. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that is the last Crystal Four Obscure. He'll be heading up to Ganon's Tower. He's going to be looking for that big key. I kind of hope it's somewhere stupid just to keep just to keep this interesting. Keep it interesting, yeah. I mean, this is game one, you know. Can't We can't have it decided by a GT big key in Hope Room, right? It's got to mm. be on, like, Armos, and we got to make some <laughs> make some choices. He's going to go buy a potion, so I'm going to give a little bit more time back to Shelzer, who already does have one potion, and his potion is full. <laughs> Whoa, That's Bucko. That's right, that fairy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, stupid Should fairy we... from the Pyramid Fairy. Like I said, literally any potion <laughs> would be preferable. <laughs> I That potion purchase is kind of interesting. Yeah, with, with tempered and silvers and, you know, the... The only thing I would consider a concern at this point would be uh, top of GT, we have no powder. True, but, yeah. like, that's not that big, you know? You've got 14 hearts. So, it's going to be roughly about two-thirds of a Death Mountain climb behind. Yeah. So very if much in GT through, routing difference. If you're going through the dark world, and my understanding is it's still, even without the portal open, it's still a little bit faster optimally to do light world, but like optimally is, is one of those things that, you know, you don't always get. So uh, yeah, if you're, it still if depends you're better, on dead yeah, if you're better at just doing the dark world one, especially with the portal not open, it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and do it in the dark world. And they're both doing it that way anyway. Oh, this one's going to be a close one. Yeah, I saw one twenty fifty seven as you got there. Well, all things considered, how the seat played out, at least for the most part, the worst thing our runners had to do was, like, actually had to do was what? Green Pendant Hera? That was it? Yeah, green, bad key layout, Green Pendant Hera. Yeah, which, with the existence of Herapod, does feel pretty bad. But... Yeah, anti hair pot seed for anybody that missed it because it was green pendant, green pendant hook shot. And OLF, OLF going straight left versus. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's see if this is a Stalfos and then mirror out. Probably. If we're actually going to just, you know, like there's the rando rush that people do. Where they just rush so, straight to random room, then mirror out. About a 40 41 second difference uh, in entering GT. Two keys, a map, and a heart piece, and a mirror. All right. Dude, what if it's just in Hope Room and Shelzer goes there first? That could happen. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately for Shelzer, like, if he does the exact same route as Obscure, then he, he can't catch up any time. Yeah, it's going to just come down to execution, which, you know, the 40 seconds is... 40 you know, seconds is like, enough uh, for mistakes to be made. Two-cycle Lamola, you know, yeah. uh, extra Agacycle... I will say, as a player, races that come down to GT routing is bad. I hate them. But as a viewer, it's fantastic. Yep. It, it keeps the game exciting. Yeah. It's, you know, it's you know, you get to the point where you're climbing GT, and it's just so it's so hard, difficult for a runner this behind to make up time once the, the climb starts. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh no! He's just grabbing the key. Never mind. For a moment there, I thought maybe he was just going to go full right in the, the actual, actual Dark Magician strat, but no, he just grabbed the key. The yeah, Tile Room excited. Gamble? What? Why? <laughs> Does he feel behind? I mean, is he is behind, but like, right this will make him, if this isn't the big key, he will be really behind. <laughs> right. I mean, this is, this feels like a game three kind of, you know 
kind of play. Not a game one. I mean, I guess game one is the best time to go for a wacky tile room gamble. Yeah, I guess. Uh, maybe he thought <laughs> she was right. <laughs> Man, it's a oh. good thing this wasn't all dungeons or something. I know, right? <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't know that wow. that ice rod spot wouldn't be that bad. It's so it's the the ice rod at the top of GT. When you have oh, I mean, ice, it's the really bad. You'd one. still probably full clear <laughs> GT first, right? Yeah, you shovel. Oh, you sure do. <laughs> I won't. Well, we'll have to ask him about that. You just don't. You don't really see the tile room gamble. I, no. I just feel like. I, the I plays don't think, in this didn't yeah, really warrant that. No, you know? like, usually you, you see that when a player uh, full clears Skips. a you know pulls ped, full clears a pendant dungeon. Mm -hmm. You know that they completely had nothing, but you know we full cleared pod, but if pod had boots. We we needed that. Oh, there's that quake for turtle. Now we can go beat tr. We got <laughs> we got everything we need. Um, whereas this was you know. Our, our pendants that we did were required to do, and we had never even had access to Turtle Rock. Like, Turtle Rock was just a complete no-go from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, it's gonna be on... in Bob's chest or behind Ice Armas at this point, so... Yeah, so if, 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 we... uh, if Skier had gone full right... <laughs> eh, nobody goes full right, though. Yeah, you don't... yeah, it's pretty that's, darn that's, rare. That's madness. Well, I, 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 I do know a couple of mad lads that do every, occasionally do do full right, but yeah, it's pretty rare. In tourneys? In the yep. finals? Well, they're not in the finals, so maybe that's See, why. See, <laughs> that's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one of these three checks. Is it going to be pure vanilla? It is. It is pure vanilla. And it's we, pure you're vanilla. right on out. So, Scholzer, you can only make up time if... Uh, Pretty much at this point, I think Obscure has to make a mistake. Like the, the execution, um, I don't see it being a huge difference. The tile room. I there might have been some like key logic mentality going into that decision. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it, at the also, same time, I it just it's feel just like a... if you're gonna do tile room, you do it before you go left i don't know maybe maybe that's wrong too i don't know <laughs> um sometimes you know you're presented with an option and you're just like eh let's just do it whatever and sometimes it works just didn't work like if it had worked that'd have been nuts but it didn't but it was still kind of nuts chelsea's got to be a little careful with his magic he does have get a green hit by potion. An anti fairy. True. He does have a green potion if he needs it, but. Uh oh, I just barely missed the last <laughs> one. I was about to say it's a little bit better of a Ice Armor's fight than uh, Obscure, but. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, definitely was, shout outs. Just, but, like, just barely. Yeah, shout outs to those silver arrows, too, because. Um... You know what really sucks in GT is when you use a ton of arrows on the ice armos and you don't and you have very few for uh, mimics. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Scare everyone trouble with the land mode fight. This is one of those that I, I for for me, uh, I can't speak for everybody. Like, I either get it right away, like I just kill all three in succession, Ooh. or I miss all three shots and yeah. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. He's gonna. Shoulder's gonna need him to drop a few more cycles if he wants a chance yeah, at this yeah, race. Moldorm fall. Um, yeah, we're we're still we're yeah. This is still uh, within. Uh, it's still obscures to lose at this point. Uh, Shoulder can do the iframe strat for the cannonball. He's got the hearts to spare. Might as well. Yep. I will mention we have a, uh, you know, Obscure has that blue potion versus Scholzer having the green. Obscure only at four and a half hearts, so he's he's got safety for that. Also, uh, he might need it because, uh, okay, he's fine. Uh, yeah, no no lamp to save magic. That's oh. another reason to pick up the lamp is. Oh yeah, you're yeah, not yeah. getting half magic, and uh, that room uh, that room can yeah. screw you up. <laughs> It's always bad when you're like fighting Lambolos and you don't have like silver, so you're just wailing on them with the fire rod, and then halfway through the fight, you're like, 
All right. Oh, wait. I need this magic. <laughs> uh, yep. Hold on, game. Oh, uh, Jolie got the no. first two, but not the third one. Just barely missed the second one. Yeah, I feel like Jules has been making up time too, so I wonder about that. Uh, you know, you know, assuming things stay as as they they stand right now, uh, I, I do wonder about the time uh, used up mm. in tile room versus uh, what the difference will be. <laughs> Obscure just gonna use that cape to get across. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you do need to save some of that magic though. <laughs> Just, just a little. I bit. mean, you, you might be able to get away with one torchlight uh, if you uh, can time everything correctly, but <laughs> you, you know, having a little bit extra probably a good idea. No, he's got the. Never mind, he's got the blue anyway. So. This music is stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> How many cycles was that? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's like I think three? it was three, maybe? At least seven. <laughs> Chat saying one, 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 three, so four. Yeah, Obscure's got that cape ready. He's got three and a half hearts, so I think what he's going to do, and I, I, I like this sort of thing is use all his resources. So by that, I mean, uh, if you need to use the cape, just use the cape, make the fight faster if you have to. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you can't take a hit right now. And then once you once that magic's gone, you go ahead and you refill for both your magic and your health. And, oh, okay, we just got closer. <laughs> I mean, at least it was early on in the fight. If it happens again, though, now that I mean, yeah. here's the thing. Now he's going to have a different uh, Ganon pattern. Yeah, so. that's right. Which could be what a better if this one. This one has like one? 30 warps in it. Chills are not quite finishing off Agatu. Nah, it's, it's going to be the same cycle then. OK, there goes the blue potion. OK, just going to use that cape and grab onto the wall because you know, game can't handle two things at once. But plenty of magic for this at this point. So yeah, I, that blue potion um, ended up being worth get, going ahead and picking that up. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, to be fair, oh. he would have been more careful uh, in, in much of the fight. Uh, mm -hmm. But more careful in this case also means slower. Wow, what a great first race of the set. Ah, yeah, Both can't runners in the Ganon better. fight? Like, this is fantastic. There's one silver down. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not the ideal way to do that, but, you know, we don't need Torch Lift here. Triple he might. Not no. quite. But he still has enough magic for... Yeah, well, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's got it. All right. Wow, get your GG's in chat for the winner of Game 1 Obscure Life Form. I'm gonna take this one away. Now, I'm gonna cross that bridge. Bridge with an official race time of 1.32.27. GG's to Obscure Life Form. Yeah, I, that tile room shows her why. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with, with Obscure's execution in the Gauntlet and the Ganon fight, you know, Schilzer might have been able to take this one. Yeah. All right, we're gonna two let more Schilzer, silvers left. Yeah, we're gonna let Schilzer finish up, and then we'll get them both in. And what there we go. Uh, Schilzer is going to cross that bridge in just a second, and he will finish up with an official race time of 133.14. So, I don't know if I, I've never timed Tile Room, but uh, maybe that's a little bit longer than Tile Room. I don't know. Uh, 47 seconds difference, about? Yep. 
Which is about how far behind he was going into GT. Yeah, roughly. that's about right. Yeah. All None. right, we do have Obscure uh, in the Discord for an interview. Hopefully, Scholzer will also join us shortly. Uh, GG's Obscure. Yeah, GG's, guys. Uh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Willard. Hello. GG's. Thank you. All right, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm still catching my breath back after that uh, Ganon death, I'm not going to lie. Like, I... Mean I I don't think I've ever. Well, I say this like almost every seed, but <laughs> I, I I had to keep control because I could have quite easily screamed to that at that point. Yeah, I mean things were really really close, and uh, as 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 you knew um, after you saw the the finish times of, of both of you at the end there. Yeah, for sure. And I think I was, I was. It's that point. It's like you you've messed up, and you're like, oh, you're like, oh no, like. And then you can just see, like, the Ganon fight. I was just so stressed that second time. My fire rods are shot, sort of flying everywhere all over the room. I was like, yep. calm down. Like, like <laughs> yeah. you just need to light two torches. You've got a whole bar of magic. Like, you just need to get these rest of these uh, silver shots in. Oh, what a nightmare. But I'm relieved. It's a relief. I managed to get through. Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, we did point out that if you hadn't gotten that blue potion, then you'd be a little bit more careful. But in the end, I think it probably uh, was worth. Oh yeah, come come these uh, hard standards or hard standards, hard hard uh, tournament hard modes. Like I, I just love having a blue potion for GT. Like I got, I got really lucky with a full magic drop um, going over to the compass room. Mm -hmm. So I was I was really really happy with that and kind of saved me in the end to be honest because I didn't bother picking up that lamp. It was in the, the Stalfos thing. Uh, not Stalfos. I can't even get my words out now. That's how stressed I am. <laughs> <laughs> it was Spectacle in Spectral Rock, Rock Cave. Yes, yeah. that's, that's the one. Um, yeah, Scholzer did pick it up. We kind of speculated that it would be about uh, time neutral um, because you only you only had to do Darkmire. But your Darkmire was pretty clean, so... Uh, yeah, it just maybe. meant I couldn't do Spooky. I was, yep. I was thinking about hovering across, but I was like, I kind of want to do the mountain, and if my hover drops, then... You know, mm -hmm. it's such a time waste, so I decided to go against it. I was thinking, like, uh, I can pick it up later uh, if I come back over. Like, because I think uh, when I was up the mountain, I think it was like, well, we found the hammer up the mountain. I think it was like right. bow, hookshot, and bombos, I want to say. It might have been another item from Go Mode. So I was yep. like, okay, I'll probably find the hookshot in, in the mountain, and then I can go back to Hera. All this time, I thought Hera was a crystal as well. So I'm sitting there in. <laughs> That's why I went back there so quickly. So I'm sitting there in in the mm -hmm. um, uh, in the the basement, like in the the tile room, and I'm just kind of right. like, hmm. I was like, this is a green pendant. I was like, let's hope something's in here, otherwise <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a uh, that <laughs> hair. Yeah, it was an anti hair pot scene because uh, you know hookshot behind behind Hera, of course, uh, in a pendant Hera, no less. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're virtually. Lost yet uh, in Ice Palace, so we didn't get to see the Hera or Desert finish. Um, what all did you do during that period? Was it just um, so? Well, the Hera. So I cleaned the mountain. Yeah. I done Zora checks, uh, but then I went to hand in that green pendant, and then right. after that, we got I went you back swamp. right at the yeah right at the green pendant turn in, which yeah. I assume was going to be followed by an Eastern dip. Uh, had the green pendant not been anything, but yep, it was about to be an Eastern dip, and then hook shot. So that took me away. And thankfully he did, because I don't think I would have had time to do an Eastern dip without the bow, seeing how close this was. Yeah. Um, I do want to know, so boots were, it, it was a very weird logic seed because of where the boots were. They were behind the bow. And so it was like, well, we know the bow is not going to be behind boots checks. But then you had like Misery Mark. Now, you couldn't do Misery Mark because Bombos was your go mode. Yeah. Uh, but it was a very interesting situation for Scholzer because he had the Bombos and could have done Misery Mark like literally at any time. Uh, and didn't, um, maybe in part because uh, of the boots not being in logic. But when you got to Hookshot Cave, say, you didn't even do the bonk chest, and I, I assume you could have hovered the whole thing if you wanted to. Um, what was the yeah. thought process there? Was it just, well, uh, the odds are slim, it's not going to be a hookshot, and boots are behind the boots, uh, sorry, bow behind the boots anyway? Yeah, it, it got to the point, I was thinking, like, if the hookshot was in the mountain, then I would have gone for it. But I was like, right. there's only one check in logic. I've, I've checked um, Super Bunny. I was like, I feel like 
hovering like everyone complains about hovering but my personal opinion i lose more races hovering and i i'm not the best hover out there like mm -hmm. um I'm, so i don't have the confidence to say you know what it's gonna i'm gonna lose 30 40 seconds here sure. but you know I, I i've got like a 80 percent chance i can land this hover it's more like 50 50 okay uh, for me so i was kind of like i could i could get the hover straight away it could take me a few minutes and i was like i don't want to mess around with this it's one check Mm -hmm. You know, I just I'm just gonna leave it. And if we get the I mean, shot, technically, none of those checks were in logic because you still don't have a bow to put the boost in logic. So. That's very true as well. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it makes sense. Um, yeah. Does that does that location worry you at all when you <laughs> now you get the hook shot? You go do a swamp, and it's like uh, it made sense that you went straight to the castle because uh, you had pyramid fairy, and so it's like a bunch of checks, kind of all dense right there. But uh, was there any thought of hookshot cave at that point? Because that was probably your other dense check. That would have been my next play. I was thinking, do I want to do front of escape or hook shot cave? It was a 50-50 for me. I was like, it's funny thing is it was it was uh, in my semi-final race with Andy. It was kind of this point as well when he hovered uh, hook shot cave and I completely left it. And it was exactly the same situation. Right. Um, I got, got boots in paradox, but I decided to leave that one bonkable chest. Um, but yeah, so it was kind of 50-50. Um, because I, I never checked Pyramid in um, the game versus Andy, but that's because mm. it's literally Pyramid. He had like Pyramid Fairy, which I had as well. So Pyramid and Pyramid Fairy, but he had Front of Escape and a few other things as well. So it was kind of more value for him. Whereas for me, it was kind of like a few checks there or a few ch checks uh, sure. in Total Rock, which mm -hmm. was in that game. So it's it's funny that it's kind of um, slightly different, but it's kind of that very similar situation to I had uh, last race with Andy. Um, but yeah, it was it was a 50-50, and if nothing was in there, then uh, Hookshot Cave would have been my next next play. And after that, I don't know where I would have gone, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I mean, you go back into Swamp, because that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot left. I, I don't even re recall if there was an item on Helmosaur, for instance. I I can't remember. I think and, and, I want to say yes, but I'm not 100%. And, and Turtle Rock, the, the Turtle Rock starter pack was just in GT, so that was just never an issue. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, Drossy was making fun of me. He was like, he was like, how did you not get the ice rod? I was like, what <laughs> ice rod? <laughs> like the one in tile room. Yeah, I mean, that's that made, I mean, because Scholzer did tile room, and it was like, well, if this is the big key, then he takes the lead. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if you've ever timed tile room. I haven't. Uh, but I feel like, because uh, he, he was on your tail, and he was definitely making up time. Uh, but, yeah, the tile room play just pretty much put it out of reach i believe it's about 45 seconds i've never timed it myself but i believe that's oh you uh, could have had a two second difference oh and there we go shoulder you could have had a two second difference shoulder ggs um, gg shoulder gg what a slow what a slow <laughs> <laughs> okay so i have to start with tile room I, I'm honest. I'm honest. I felt ahead. I I didn't thought that somebody would be uh, with that amount of money and like only one portion. I did not expect anybody to be 20 minutes into pot. <laughs> and I felt good when getting boots, especially with that hammer mm -hmm. on the mountain. I know that Obscure doesn't like mountain, but I was like, maybe he's gonna up. He went up there and got hammer and got distracted. <laughs> But apparently that was not the case. Yeah, he, he got he got the boots a little earlier than you did. He got the hammer a earlier than you did. Um, trying to think. You have, you have met me before, haven't you, Shoulder? <laughs> you do know I don't play by the rules and I do whatever I want. <laughs> I I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, just I just thought you don't have enough money to go to pot in the seat and then you just go don't go there. <laughs> Well, actually, mm. actually oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, see. I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough money for tile um, treasure game, which I never went back to. I, <laughs> I didn't have enough money for. Ding I didn't have enough money for the blacksmith. I had to go back later for the prize. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I don't think you ever went back to dig game either. No, I, I honestly completely forgot. And treasure game, I literally went to the thieves town. It was right next door, and I completely forgot that I hadn't done it. It's one of those things. You know, you've been there early. You forget that you haven't done it. Yeah, and then eventually you even did uh, Cool Hand just to get money for Zora, so. Yep. But yeah. yeah. If I don't screw up in the end with Desert Palace and don't feel so ahead with those boots because. And then not doing Tidal, 
I might be ahead going into Ganon, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. that does not feel up. like, it felt so bad. <laughs> like, not getting the small key, and then, like, running against the door, and then, like, oh no, this is probably, like, 20 to 30 seconds time of light here. This is not good. Yeah, because you, point, were, was... you were gaining on him throughout GT, but the, the uh, tile run play just kind of set you back. Uh, make it basically unreachable. But, I mean, it's a gamble, you know. Sometimes you win it. Yeah, actually, I was thinking of doing Tile Room as well. I'm not even going to lie, because there was a lot of early <laughs> keys. I was like, it's probably sank in here, but I was like, I can't be doing Tile Room like this in the, in the final. Yeah, that yeah. would have been that would have been amazing <laughs> if we if we had two runners in tile room in GT in game like, one. Of like the I'm, I'm just glad it was not only tile room that I lost to. Mm -hmm. It would have been like super close. Like I think. Yeah, I, I change, think. But I don't think it would have been enough. In the end, uh, when you went into desert and still had to get all your keys, Obscure, you also double dipped desert because you didn't finish it the first time. Uh, but you at least when you when you went back, which is of course when when we weren't able to see, um, you had all you would have had all your keys and Schulzer when you went back and then and then forgetting you didn't have the small key did not help. But we all we've all done those things so. Yeah. Was well, definitely the mode I did not hope to get. <laughs> to be honest, I hope we were not getting that that one again. Yeah, I think that is like the mode that Obscure life form is strongest. Yeah, I, I don't think it's possible for you to get it. I know it's not possible if you get it in game two. It may not be possible in game three. I forget how all the card system works. But it looks like uh, inverted keys might be on the menu because it looks like you had three cards for inverted keys today. So I don't know what all you're getting back, but um, my guess is you'll have at least a three on, on that one and maybe even a four. Yeah, it off. should be three still. I mean, kind of the inverse, you know, like the, the, you know, hard mode is maybe the most straightforward of all the different modes you can get. And then you got the inverted keys, which is probably the other end of the, of the, the spectrum with maybe the most difficult. Uh, I mean, difficult maybe is relative, but um, certainly in terms of logic, there's just so many things to think about there. Uh, what do you all want for a game two? Not open hot again. <laughs> <laughs> um... Like, like Shores has said, like, my stronger ones are kind of the more simple ones, so I'm probably hoping for an Ambrosia. Mm -hmm. uh, Ambrosia also has his twists and turns, of course, but yeah. It does. Uh, hey, looking at the deck, it should be three cards for Ambrosia, two for MC Boss, three for Inverted Keys, and one for Normal Key Sanity. If I did not mess up. <laughs> Which could be possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't even try and figure it out, but I just know that you won't have anything for hard, and uh, you'll at most uh, get back things for the other other modes. Like they'll either stay the same or you get more. So, of course, depending I definitely on how I definitely hope the next seed is not giving us like 20 option after um, doing back of escape because that I, I was looking at my tech, I was like, okay, now you have like. 50 green squares. Where do you go first? I mean, that's inverted keys, honestly. But yeah, you, you did have a very, like, you had the very early mitts and the very early moon pearl, and then no weapon to even do blind. So, but, yeah. you know, so that, you know, we're commenting at one point, we're just like, and no clearable dungeons, because you didn't have, didn't have a weapon for blind even. I guess, I think the first weapon, blind weapon you guys got was the Cana Samaria at the dam. <laughs> Exactly. Which is like no one wants to do Kana Samaria blind if if, uh, if there's other options. All right. Uh, anything else either one of you wants to add before we uh, close this out? Hoping um, for a good game too tomorrow. Hope it's. I'm sure how I'm getting a third game against Obscure. I, I'm, I never, I'm not even sure if we ever faced in a 1v1 before. I, th I think one time we'd done a bingo race versus each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and the, the, the mystery unweighted daily race where it was like 30 seconds apart or something. Ended up being mm -hmm. a trifles cross keys or something like that. <laughs> trifles hunt cross keys. Um, 
So I think those are the only two, two times we've ever gone head to head. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but thanks guys for putting on the restream and doing the comms and all that good stuff. And tomorrow's race will be at 4.10 uh, Eastern Time. Uh, looks like it's already been scheduled onto this channel. Uh, no surprise. Uh, so yeah, the whole, the European final with the day matches, I love it. <laughs> I'm home during the day, it's great. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to watching that. Don't know who's going to be calling calling that one, but I guarantee we're going to get a good pair on the mic. Um, Willard, oh, we get to do one last race together. I I'm really glad we managed to make that happen. Or uh, yeah, this uh, was great. This was or or they let us do it. I don't know which it is, but uh, really excited. We tricked him. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there you go. They fell for it again. <laughs> Um, a lot of fun. Uh, big shout outs. We haven't shouted out our tracker, Thoris. Um, the MVPs of the tournament, clicking the buttons behind the scenes. We cannot do it without him. Uh, and in this case, uh, even going out of the way to make sure that he figured out all the things that we missed uh, when Obscure was offline briefly. So huge shout outs to Thoris. And of course, to everybody at the Speed Gaming community and everybody uh, putting on this tournament. And of course, our runners. Uh, Shoals are an obscure life form. Uh, if you aren't already following, uh, we see the uh, the the command in chat. Go ahead and hit those follows. And yeah, we'll uh, get at least one more race, possibly two more races, and we'll see you at those races. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs>